Next fight. Deontay Wilder rematch, or do you want to go straight to Anthony Joshua? I want my son to retire now. Now? Yeah. Without meeting That's Anthony Joshua? That's just my opinion. Why? Because I think he's done enough. He's got no more to prove. He's proved he's been a, a worthy champion from this country. He's been 13 years as a pro, and he's always been the opponent. Wherever he's gone to, it's been an uphill battle for him. You know, and he's 32 years old, he's got a young family, and I do believe his children deserve a father, and he's done enough. And that's my opinion. I'd want him to pack it in now. I've said that to him. You've said that to him, and what does he say when you have that conversation? I think it's in the back of his mind, to be fair, because he can't do any more. He's won every professional title, Susanna, he is to win. Amateur, professional. The only one he never won was the Olympic gold medal, because he never even went. But I think it's an, enough's enough, and there's more to life now. He's give it all. I think he's give his all in boxing. So I know he's got a lot more left. Uh Big man ting, smash the like button and subscribe. So we just heard there from Big oh, John oh, Fury. Essentially telling his son to retire. Now, I've played the clip, but let me read to you the full quotes here. He says the following. I want my son to retire now. He's done enough. It's been an uphill battle for him, John told Good Morning Britain. I think... It's in the back of his mind. He can't do any more. He's won every professional title. Enough is enough. There's more to life now. He's given it his all. He's got no more to prove. He's proved he's been a worthy champion from this country. He's been 13 years as a pro and he's always been the opponent. He's 32 years old. He's got a young family and I do believe his children deserve their father. He's done enough and that's my opinion. So, now, obviously, you might know, I'm team AJ all day, and this don't look good from a, John, from a Fury point of view. Now, I know John Fury's a fighting man, I know back his son all the way, but I just don't understand the logic in this. You've got one man to go, literally. If, for example, if Fury, yeah, was to beat AJ or fight AJ and whatever else, and then retire, I'm not going to quibble. Even if he doesn't fight Dillian White, if Fury beats AJ... Bearing in mind AJ's got the belts and he wants to retire. I'm not, I wouldn't come on here and say, oh, look, he's ducking Dillian White. I wouldn't do that because I just don't think Dillian White... Well, he's got nothing to offer as such. AJ, on the other hand, he's, he's the current unified champion. He's the man who's got the belts. He's the current Don. And I think to retire now, after, that, after your best performance... Now, don't get me wrong. This is only John Fury. This isn't Tyson Fury. However, he has said here that, oh, I think it's in the back of his mind. I don't think it is, personally. The way that Fury was talking after this performance, he was saying things like, oh, I've only been at the Cronk for seven weeks. Imagine what I'm going to be like six months later, etc, etc. Although he has, Fury has also mentioned he's only got two fights left on his ESPN contract, which could be the next Wilder rematch, and it could be an, another random fight. Or it could just be, that last fight could be a winner-takes-all AJ fight, couldn't it? One fight, no room rematch clause, Winner takes all, and I think that's fair enough because how how fights can work, it has to be an odd number, doesn't it? You can either do one, three, or five. So it could just be a one. Listen, what you best come in, you best be, you best, you best have no either man, AJ or Fury, best have no excuses. You go in on the night and you perform, and the winner takes all kind of thing. That could be the final one. All I'm saying is, you you can't Fury can't. No, and I'm not trying to make this about AJ because I do think I do want to give Fury respect because. I have spent a lot of time this week building up into this fight. One of the only people actually doing that and talking about how Fury needs to go in there and way all over Wilder. But still, let's talk Turkey now. AJ is still the Don, yeah? He's got the free belt and he's the man who wants it. He's the man... We've just, I played a clip the other day on it. Fury, AJ or Fury rang each other up and AJ's looking for the smoke. He wants it badly. Why would you not want your son to do that? Unless he sees something in... Like, John Fury was very confident when it came to Wilder. And Wilder is one-dimensional. Wilder can't fight on the inside. Wilder can't fight going back. We know, if Fury comes forward like, like, like that with AJ, he's going to be getting some licks back. He's not just going to get a man there with his earmuffs on. Fury, when, when Wilder goes back, he puts his earmuffs on and he stands there. He can't fight on the inside. F AJ, that's not going to happen. If Fury marches forward, he's going to find himself in a hail of uppercuts and hooks. Short uppercuts, short hooks. Same as Vlad. Because actually, 
Vladen, the way Fury fought last night was not similar to Vlad, but I'm talking about Vlad's jab, Vlad's right hand, was similar to Fury's last night, in as much as Vlad had a pike in jab, Vlad had a pike in right hand, and that's Fury was starting to turn, his, Fury, Fury was turning his shots over last night. Not, not as, I don't think he's just as good as Vlad yet, but a few more weeks, a few more months, and it's interesting they both come out of the same gym, but a few more weeks and a few more months, and he will be piking like Vlad. And the point is, what do we know? AJ's fought Vlad. Yeah, Vlad was older than Fury, but still, Vlad came, Vlad came in there in, in arguably better shape than Fury, physiologically speaking, in terms of genetics, he's, not, he's more athletic and whatnot. And, and Vlad came in there, piking his one-two. AJ took his took his took his right hand clean, got straight up, smiled, and got straight up, and went, and went straight back to work. And that was, in my opinion, one of AJ's worst performances on back in April 2017. In as much as he was overweight, he was inexperienced. See what I mean? That was that weren't no that that weren't this AJ. And AJ proved that he could deal with that kind of pressure. And not only that, look at the uppercut he hit Vlad with. So what I'm saying is, AJ ain't no wilder, and I think John Fury knows that. And John Fury's always had it out for. No, I like John Fury. I was the one who was agreeing with him in terms of the strategy for this wilder fight. However, I do think John Fury's always had it out for AJ. He's always felt, and and Tyson to an extent, they've always felt jealous or not jealous, but they've always felt like, oh, AJ's getting something we're not. I remember after Fury beat Vlad. He came home to the press conference and he was talking and John Fury was saying, oh, if, if this had been AJ, the Queen would have got a Rolls Royce out and drove Fury home. I'm thinking, what's this got to do with AJ? It's like they've always got him on, his, on their mind. But anyway, the fact of the matter is, Fury cannot retire now. No way. Number one, is, in my opinion, number one, he must oblige the rematch with Wilder. You can't you can't beat a man like that. If well, if, if Wilder don't want it, that's fine. But in my opinion, you can't whoop a man like that and then kind of run away. That's not fair to someone's pride. That will give. That's the kind of stuff that sends people over the edge. You know what I mean? And as a as a um, what do you call it? As a uh, as a psycho. What's the word? As a mental health advocate. Fury can't whoop wild like that and then leave him hanging like that if he wants to rematch. He might not, but if he does want it, you've got to give him that as a man. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> otherwise, if you, otherwise, what other topic will he'll, he'll just he won't be able to handle it. He won't be able to sleep at night, and, I, and rightly so. So that's fair enough, but still, beat, beat Wilder again, which I think he can do, just like I thought he could do it the first time. Yeah? Go in there, way all over Wilder. Wilder's legs are still going to be skinny. Wilder's still going to not be able to handle pressure. Wilder's still not going to be able to fight on the inside. And that'll be that. Finished. And the crazy thing is, Wilder came in 230. I thought that was dangerous. This was the best Wilder. 230 was the best Wilder. Literally, you don't get a better Wilder than that. Do you not remember? I did a video on it. Before Wilder was crying about, oh, oh man, I was ill. I was 209. I was very ill. So now you're 230, you was peak form, and even then you made it excuses about your leg. But anyway, that's here or there. The fact of the matter is, go in there, dust Wilder off. That takes place in when? Let's say that takes place in in August or whenever, August time. Dust him off, and then you've got AJ <clears throat> in 20, 20, 2021. That's what needs to happen now. I don't want to hear no more about this, this all this goofy stuff about he's won everything. Because he hasn't won everything. Yes, you beat Vlad, but also... People don't realise, the reason I'm so like, not pro Fury, but the reason I'm on the, f I'm, I'm like halfway back, I'm pretty much back on the Fury, but I am back on the Fury bandwagon, is because of his performance. I never rated the Vlad, the Vlad performance. Let's not forget, like I've always said, what turned me on to Fury was 2012-2013, when he went in there against even Chisora. Look, even though, even though he was even though he was, he was boxy with Chisora, he was he did he went he finished him, yeah. But not only that, 2013 he went in there and he said, "Listen, listen, David Hay, I'm gonna weigh all over you." And he he mentally broke David Hay. That's the fury I fell in love with. Then even in that same little um, TV thing with David Hay, he said, "Listen, Vlad can't lace my boots. I'm gonna knock Vlad out." And then all of a sudden. He went from being this guy, which we saw last night, by the way, he went from being this aggressive gypsy warrior to being this, this like, 
uh, this just kind of run around kind of guy. And that's when I kind of, t that turned me off. I don't like, I don't, me personally, pe people, some people think it's a boxing lesson, what he did to Vlad. I don't think it was a boxing lesson. I prefer what AJ did to Vlad. That was a boxing lesson, where he beat him so bad, he didn't want a rematch. Vlad wanted a rematch with Fury. See what I'm, see the difference there? That's the key, that's what I'm saying. And for all we know, to be fair to Fury, if Fury had gone in there and done what he did to Vlad, which is no, there's no saying he would have been able to be, he would have been able to do, but if Fury had done to Vlad what he did to Wilder, Vlad probably wouldn't have wanted it either, but my point, see what I'm trying to say, but the fact of the matter is, he didn't do that. You went in there and you, and you, and you tickled around the place, and that's what I've, I kind of went off the boil with Fury. It, just, don't, just don't turn me on. This is what turns me on because this is I feel like I'm a good gauge of people that the fury we saw last night that's the true fury that is the true fury mixing it all up the feints were beautiful the boxing was beautiful but it wasn't just that for too long he's been too he's been too pure boxing too pure uh, slappy slappy jab there's been no offensiveness about it I like to see the mix and that's what Lennox Lewis gets gets good marks. And that's why, to an extent, AJ gets good marks as well. Because what do we know? AJ steps in, big, strong jab, big, strong right hand. And when he's on the inside, what does he do? He opens you up. Gets full marks from the YB. Because you, you're ticking all the boxes. And not only that, he's just gone in there with Ruiz now and proved he can, he can, run, he can, he can dance if he needs to. And now he just needs to go in there and put it all together, kind of thing. Similar to what Fury did last night. Last night against Wilder, Fury put it all together. He was fainting Wilder. Wilder didn't have a clue what was going on. He didn't know what he didn't know what he didn't know what was coming when. Didn't have a clue. Didn't have a Jack Daniels what was going on. And that's because Fury put it all together. And by 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 mixing it all together, that's how you land heavy shots. You for for too long, Fury used the feints and stuff as just pure defensive mechanisms. Like, no, feints and that are used, you meant to use feints to set up a big, big stinging right hand, or a big stinging one too. You don't just faint to keep someone off you. For too long, Fury was fainting just to kind of bluff. He bluffed his way through, oh, you know what, and that's why people were saying that Fury can only beat you once, because he, he bluffs you, and then he, there's nothing, there's never, there's never anything heavy coming behind it. Whereas last night, he, he bluffed, and then something heavy came. I mean, when that when that when that heavy stuff came, Wilder didn't want enough, didn't want to know anything about it. He wanted out of there, as we saw. He want he was scaling the ring. He didn't like it. He didn't like he didn't like tasting his own B O O L D. Yeah. But anyway, I've digressed there. But essentially, I hope John Fury has clearly been well, that's his dad. So he's obviously going to be a big influence on age on Fury. But I do on Tyson. Sorry, but I hope that Tyson. Well, he's his own man, and I think that, yeah, you've got a family, but, and, like, you're a fighting man. This is the last one now. Don't, don't rob the, don't rob the fans of, of this one. And to be fair to Fury, Fury, as of yet, he hasn't said this. And let's not forget, Fury's ring, was speaking to AJ on FaceTime. They've got a little banterful relationship going. You know what I mean? I think that, from where I'm sitting, a lot of people aren't very, aren't very, aren't very confident. But I am actually relatively confident. Especially seeing that after that performance, I think Fury is going to be confident that he can go in there and and do and do it with AJ. Not that I think he's going to do it. I think he's going to run into a brick wall. Especially, I think it's going to turn out this is going this is going to be the fight of all fights, in my opinion, because Wilder was way too one dimensional, as we saw. Fury, on the other hand, another year in the cronk, he's going to get that power up. Is he going to be as powerful as AJ? No way near. But still. He's going to perhaps have a bit more of the slickness, a bit more of the feints, perhaps. See what I mean? It's going to be a battle of whatever. It's going to be a battle of, in fact, I'll tell you what it's going to be a battle of. AJ versus Fury is going to be a battle of the hearts. The African versus the gypsy. Who's going to, that's what it's going to come down to. Who's going to want it more, in my opinion? That's what will show, we'll show on the night. AJ versus Fury is African heart versus gypsy heart. Not in a... I'm not trying to be secular, I'm just saying that's what it will come down to. Who really wants it more? Both people, I don't, well, I'm, I'm not sure that AJ on his best day, I'm not sure that he can be hurt, if the truth be known. I, I, I just haven't seen it. I saw him take a big overhand right to the back of the head. I still haven't done a video on that, but Andy Ruiz for a big a big overhand right hit AJ on the, on the back of his head and he, he just rolled it and stood straight up when he wasn't 
on his June 1st form. So I'm not sure that anyone can put AJ down when he comes in at 237 and he doesn't run out of cardio. The only reason Vlad put him down was because he had no gas left because he was 260 and way too heavy and not in shape and not experienced. But anyway, the point, what I'm saying is it'll be a, it'll be a cracking fight. But I'm, I'm eight, which I'm 85% sure AJ wins. I'll be going in there 85, 90% sure AJ wins that fight on the odds. But that said, it will still be an intriguing, much more intriguing than a Wilder fight would have been. Because look at if, look if look what Fury did to him. Look what Fury did to Wilder. He did useless. And and AJ would have got him out of there cleanly, in my opinion, because. The minute AJ got on top of him and Wilder put his earmuffs on against the ropes, AJ would have been winging this nasty hooks and nasty uppercuts. I think that Fury was missing a few, was missing some, um, was miss, was missing some hooks and uppercuts in there, some hard ones anyway. But anyway, that's ten all there. John Fury encourage his son. Do, do, I know. Then also, we've got to remember. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a. What's the word? I don't, um, I don't have kids, so that's another thing I've got to consider. To be fair to John Fury, he does have, that's his son. He doesn't, when he's thinking about his grandkids, and he's thinking about how dangerous a sport is, he's just seen Wilder's, he just, he just seen Wilder's ear squirting, for example. This isn't a nice sport, especially when you're in there with someone like AJ, who is, who is dangerous like that. So I do appreciate that side of things. But, forgetting all that stuff, forgetting all the, all the emotional side, sport, purely sport, this fight must happen. Must Beating Fury, beating Wilder and leaving it there, that, that's the biggest cliffhanger ever. And it will go down as a massive travesty. Because there will be nothing left for AJ to do. Even if he beats Wilder, well he's already been beaten in Barrett. He's already been stopped. Not only beaten, he's already been stopped kind of thing. And to be fair, look, let's get straight. Andy Ruiz, Andy Ruiz stopped AJ. So from Fury's point of view, from Fury's dad's point of view, you lot should be going in there thinking, you know, we'll stop him as well. Do you know what I mean? That's what I'll be thinking. <laughs> yeah? If, if Andy Ruiz, this big guy out of shape, whatever, whatever can stop him, I'd go in there and think the same. As encouragement, do you know what I'm saying? That if that's what you need to encourage you to get in there, use it. He's been stopped. AJ, AJ, AJ's proven he's not invincible. He's been stopped before. He's been put down before, so go in there. Do you know what I mean? You should be encouraging him, saying, listen, Wilder's never been put down before. And these are the things that I'd be saying if I was John Fury to gas him up, to get him in there with him. But yeah, this fight must happen. And if John Fury talks about how it's been, oh, it's been an uphill battle. But yeah, your son, he's been an uphill battle. Your son loves the gym. He talks about how he loves to be in the gym. The last thing he needs is to be hanging around at home. Paris said it herself. She don't like it when he's at home all day. These people are active people. Not only fighting people, but I'm talking about athletes in general. They're, they're active people. They can't be sitting... And Fury went mad last time just sitting around the place with nothing to do. And he says... He talk, Fury talks about how he loves it in there. Last night when he was whacking Wilder up and he was licking it, he was doing the licking signs. He was loving it in there. And that same same as AJ against... against yes, he wasn't as dominant, but against Ruiz. He was enjoying it in there. That's what they do. So let's not, let's not like, obviously John Fury has a big influence on Tyson Fury. Let's not kill it. Let's not try and pull no weird strings and try and turn people off. You should be encouraging this as a last one. Make this, make this one the last one, if there's anyone. Now I'd like to see him fight people like, I don't know, Dillian Dilly White as well. But if, if we have to have only one, make it this one. Come on, let's be serious now. Talk turkey. 